semiconductor, uh, conductor, insulator, and semiconductor electrons arrangement. Eh? So now let's see uh, the electrons arrangements of a conductor. A conductor usually it has one, two, or three valence electrons. Okay, so for example, sodium. Sodium it has uh, one valence electrons. Eh? Okay, uh, totally it has eleven, uh, eleven electrons. Eh? One, uh, two electrons, eight electrons, and one. So totally, it has eleven electrons. Okay. Sodium atom is neutral. So if it has uh, eleven electrons, then uh, eleven electrons. Uh, then how many proton it has? Eleven, right? Okay, it has eleven electrons and eleven proton. Uh, so that the charge is neutral. The charge is neutral. Uh, the protons located at the nucleus here. So we have eleven protons. Uh, eleven protons. There is uh, eleven protons in the nucleus. Uh, less. So let's assume that the the part inside this uh, valence electron, this valence electron, okay, the center part here, okay, the 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 place uh, inside this valence electron, okay, is uh, we call it the core, okay. This is a core. Now, inside this core, there are eleven protons, right? In the nucleus, uh, eleven protons, uh, and there are ten electrons. There are ten electrons. Let me show you. There are ten electrons, eh? So you see ten electrons, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, two electron, eight electron. There are ten electrons, okay? And there are eleven protons in the nucleus. Eh? So the core, the core has uh, ten electrons, eleven protons. Eh? Okay. So can any of you tell me what's the charge of the core if there is eleven protons and ten electrons? So what's the charge of the core? Eleven protons, ten electrons. Positive one, that's correct. Okay, positive one. Eh? The charge is positive one. Because uh, we have protons, one proton more than electrons. Eh? Okay, 10 electrons, 11 protons. One proton more than electrons. Proton carry positive charge, electron carry negative charge. So, proton more than electron, the charge will be positive. Eh? And there are one proton more than electron, the charge is positive one. What's the charge of an electron? Negative one. So, in this case, eh? There's attraction force between the core and the valence electrons, right? Uh, the attraction force is caused by the charge, uh, electrostatic uh, force, caused by the charge. Uh, and the charge is positive one and negative one. Because the charge is very low, negative one and positive one, so this force is not very strong. This force is weak. Uh, this attraction force between the core and the uh, valence electrons uh, is very weak force. And uh, since the force is very weak, these electrons can leave this shell easily. It can go out easily because the, the attraction force is very weak. Eh? So it can go out easily. Therefore, this electron is free to move. This is uh, the electron is free to move. Eh? And if it's free to move, mean, means that it can be a charge carrier. It can be a charge carrier and it can conduct electricity. So that's why those atoms has one, two, or three valence electrons uh, can conduct electricity because the attraction force between the valence electron and the core is very weak. So that is for a conductor. Then how about semiconductor? Semiconductor. Okay. So this is silicon. Uh. Silicon has uh, fourteen electrons. Uh, two electrons, eight electrons, and four electrons. So it has uh, fourteen electrons. Uh, sorry, 14 electrons, and therefore 14 protons. Uh, the number of protons and electrons must be the same. Eh? 14 electrons, 14 protons. Okay. Inside the core. Okay, inside the core. Tell me, what's the charge of the core for uh, silicon? What's the charge of the core? There are 14 protons eh, and 10 electrons inside. 10 electrons inside. Uh, 14 protons. 14 protons and uh, 10 electrons. So what's the charge of the core? Positive 4, yes. Positive four, okay, and the charge of the valence electrons, each one negative one, so totally there are the charge is a negative four, each one negative one, the charge is negative four, so positive four attracting negative four, okay, the charge positive four attracting so the charge negative four, so the attraction force is uh, stronger, the attraction force is stronger compared to the previous one. Eh? So the attraction force is stronger. So therefore, the electron is not free to move. Not free to move. Okay, so therefore it cannot conduct electricity. Usually, 
in a normal conditions, uh, it cannot conduct electricity. Insulator, chlorine, chlorine, eh? okay, it has 17 electrons, 17 electrons, uh, and 17 protons. So let's say we have a core. So can you please tell me what's the charge of the core? 17 electrons, uh, sorry, 17 protons, 10 electrons, uh, okay, 10 electrons inside. So what's the charge? It has uh, 17 protons, 10 electrons. Uh. So the charge is positive 7, okay, positive 7. And uh, the electron, the charge is negative 1, okay, negative 1. Uh. So now this one, the charge is positive 7 attracting negative 7. Uh. So therefore, the force must be very, very strong. Uh. The force must be very, very strong. The force between the valence electron and the core uh, is very, very strong force. And therefore, uh, therefore, the electron is not free to move. Not free to move. Huh? So conductor, the electron is free to move. So it can conduct electricity. Semiconductor, it cannot, uh, the electron is not free to move, okay? So they cannot conduct electricity. This is at room temperature. So at room temperature, a semiconductor acts like an insulator. It cannot conduct electricity. Insulator, okay, uh, it also cannot conduct electricity because the attraction force between the electrons and the core is very strong. So the electron is not free to move. It can only move in the in, in, in this uh, shell. It cannot go out, okay, it cannot go out. So it's not free to move. Eh? So, uh, so it cannot conduct electricity. So that is the difference between conductor, semiconductor, and insulator. Now, insulator, even though the force is quite strong, okay, compared to this one, eh? but uh, uh, but compared to this one, the force is uh, weaker, not so strong, okay, not so strong, and uh, this make it semiconductor. This make it semiconductor. I will explain to you later, okay. But so far, you need to know the the electrons arrangements of conductor, semiconductor, insulator. Conductor usually has very very uh, a, a few electrons. Two or three, one, two, three electrons in the valence shell. Okay, semiconductor usually four electrons, four electrons, huh? and then so five, six, seven, eight uh, is insulator. One, two, three electrons in the outermost shell conductor. Four electrons semiconductor. Five, six, seven, eight electrons insulator because the attraction force very strong. The electron is not free to move, so they cannot conduct electricity.